بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله I greet you all with the greeting of Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I'd like to welcome you all for continuation of our series concerning the hadith of today This hadith is one of the wasaya of the Prophet وسلم, to Abu Dhar one of the advices the Prophet وسلم, had given specifically to Abu Dhar nevertheless it can be for each one of us the Prophet said Ya Abu Dhar inni araka da'ifa wa inni uhibbu laka ma uhibbu li nafsi لا تتأمرن على اثنين ولا تولين ما لا يتين In another narration is saying يا أبا ذر إنك ضعيف وإنها أمانة وإنها يوم القيامة خزي وندامة إلا من أخذها بحقها وأدى الذي عليه فيها this hadith, the Prophet وسلم, advising Abu Dhar due to his weakness and also due to his love to him. So number one, that Abu Dhar is not strong enough and maybe physically or mentally or he doesn't have the support and the background of his tribe but due to some witness with Abu Dhar and also due to the fact that the Prophet وسلم, he loves him so and he told him that I love for you what I love for myself as a result of this the Prophet doesn't want him to be a mere or in charge of the affairs of the Muslims, even a small number which limited to two people. And not be in charge of the property of an orphan. So it shows us the seriousness of that matter of being Amir, being Wali, to be in charge of the Muslims' affair, to be holding a office, to carry such a great and serious responsibility, even being a mere or a leader over only two people. Don't do it, because you are weak. And be aware, don't be a guardian over an orphan which you possess money and wealth because the weakness of the nafs and the person that may be tempted with this property and maybe he is not going to be fair and just with his property in another narration the Prophet وسلم, say Abu Dhar you are weak and it is a matter of a trust in amana but this trust in the day of judgment will be a means of putting a person in shame and sorrow يوم القيامة will be خزي and be ندامة only with one condition those people who will take in charge of the Muslims affair with the rights fulfilling the obligations and fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore my dear respected brothers I warn myself as well as you do not be in charge of the affairs of the Muslims because it is a temptation and it is a manner of trust and that you be questioned about it in the day of judgment and will be a matter of embarrassment in the day of the judgment and will be sorrow for those who did not fulfill the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so focus in yourself 
take care of your own self. Do not serve others, help others, but leave this matter of leadership and emirship, kingship, wazirship, any position of being in charge is a serious matter. And you may think that you qualify to do it, but you may qualify, but the temptation is greater than what you may think. So be careful, stay away from it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us away from any position that may bring about embarrassment for us in the day of judgment. Thank you for watching. I see you again in another segment. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.